In this tutorial, we'll just take a quick look at the difference between a couple of modifiers, the multi-resolution modifier, which I use quite a bit, and the subdivision surface modifier, also known as subsurf modifier. So what we have here is this object here in the center is done with the subsurf modifier, and it's powerful and interesting. In fact, if I go into edit mode, you can see right here that it's kind of like a lattice in the sense that this was just a basic shape starters but you can come up to these points say this point like this and grab it and you can modify your object like this in here let's just start from scratch and show you how I did on this blue one here I'll just add a cube to the scene all right and then I'll go into modifiers go down to the subdivision surface here and then notice it just turns it into this object right away but you can actually change this, you know, if you just change the view like this. And then if I go into edit mode, now you can see it's encapsulated within there like that. So then th this is where you can take it and just adjust it how you want. Or maybe I don't want that many views. I can just drop it down like that, go into edit mode and adjust it like this. Adjust it like that. And then once I have what I like, I have to be back into object mode and then I apply it. And then it becomes an object of that shape. It's kind of a, it's a great way to make these kind of, you know, morphing kind of shapes. All right, so that's one, that's powerful. This one here was also a cube for starters, if I add a cube to the scene. In this case, I, some of the tricks you can do, you can go into edit mode and maybe I grab the top surface first, which is what I did with that one there, like that. And this is just kind of a little trick and what it does, this allows me to keep hold of the faces at before and after it's changed. So then I'll go get the modifier, the multi-resolution modifier, and you can't subdivide it in here. So you go back into object mode and then you subdivide like that. Okay, and then see if I go into edit mode, nothing is looks changed until I apply it. So I apply it, but then when I go into edit mode, notice those same vertices that were representative of the top of the cube are now selected. And then I can do whatever I want with those at this point. You know, maybe I'll just rotate them on Z or something like that. You know, I don't know, and then extrude them up like this. So at least I have a cap, you know, that's based on the top of the cube and I can work with it like that. So that's a pretty cool little technique. And then this is the same thing. I basically did the same thing using the multi-resolution modifier as well. I had uh, I don't know, maybe, well, I'm not sure, but we'll just try it with something else. Starting with cubes is really helpful. <laughs> you wouldn't think that a cube would be so powerful, but it is. It doesn't, these don't work so great with, like, you know, cylinders and spheres and things like that. But with cubes, man, it's just, it's just good stuff. All right, so let me zoom in on this a little bit. So maybe I'll go into here in advance. Maybe I'll just do a regular subdivision of this uh, surface like this. Maybe I'll subdivide. Maybe I'll subdivide these here. I'm just showing you some ideas, and then I'll just take those and I'll rotate those on. Let me see what axis was that on X. All right, rotate those on X. So just do a little rotation on X. All right, before I do anything, so I keep that in there like that. Then I'm gonna leave edit mode. Then I'm gonna go get my multi-resolution modifier here and then I'm going to subdivide it a couple times and apply it. Now when I come back in I still have access to those same vertices before I do anything to the scene. That way I don't have to go try and select it individually and you know it's uh yeah okay let's extrude those on X. Okay whatever right? <laughs> all right, I'm just kind of giving you some ideas because all these little tricks really come into play when you're building something and you never know what's going to work when you need it. All right, well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.